Namaste. We are now going to talk about one kind of um, yogic exercise that is very um, powerful to remove laziness from your body and the sensation that you are without energy. The name of this exercise in Sanskrit is Bhastika and it's usually written as B-H-A-S-T-R-I-K-A but the sound is like this Bhastrika um, this um, breathing technique it should be taken with a lot of care for a pregnant woman and also people with uh, high, blood, high blood pressure maybe some people that have any kind of uh, strokes in the brain or uh, heart attack if the heart's okay again it's not so problematic just do it very slowly and peacefully but if you are very high pressure and blood pressure be careful this is not a very good exercise for you there are others this exercise that we are going to show now and the other and the following uh, are exercises that are going to increase the metabolic uh, rate in your system it's going to increase the heat it's going to increase the circulation of blood prana in your body right um, this movement it uh, should be done with empty stomach because in Ayurveda we understand that when our stomach is full the digestive process is taking energy there and if we move it outside the digestion is going to be impaired probably you're not going to die if you do it with uh, full stomach but it's not going to be healthy probably it's going to make you feel just like oh stuck right okay so to do this movement you can sit like the Japanese position uh, in uh, over your knees uh, and your heels and your buttocks touching this is the best position to do this exercise but if you're not comfortable because you have some knee problems or if you have any kind of joint problems or if you are just like very difficult to sit on the floor because the muscles and the joints they are not very oily with time with proper oleation and uh, with some yoga practice this is going to change but you don't need to force it so much right if you feel there is just a little bit of discomfort because you're not used try a little bit and then rest because we are going to do three rounds of this exercise and these three rounds should be done without hurry because if you do it very uh, in a hurrisome manner probably it's going to change a lot your blood circulation and we don't need this we are just going to pump the lower part of our um, lungs so the air that it's just like um, being lost in the lower part of of our lungs are expelled in the west in brazil for sure but i think that it's common in the west we are uh, teach taught that we should breathe just like take a deep breath and uh, in the gyms we do we are very used to uh, work with this clavicular area and this thoracic area of the lungs but the main point in Ayurveda in yoga that we should use to breathe is the uh, muscles that are between the lungs and the uh, digestive organs I think in English the name is diaphragm also uh, but it's a kind of a muscular tissue that when we breathe in it goes down and when we breathe out it goes up just like 
<laughs> I don't know if you do this in your country, but in uh, some uh, kind of, there is a kind of a boyish uh, play that we take just like a tube and we put a balloon in the end and we put beans inside <laughs> and we take the balloon back it, it's fixed there and when it goes uh, again the bean explodes and just goes just like a gun <laughs> this is a very silly thing but it's it's it was still common when i was a kid and uh, in the same way this balloon inside us the diaphragm it's uh, pulling uh, the the lower part of the lungs, actually all the lung cavity downwards. And uh, when we do this, we expand our lung area, the whole lung area, much more easily. Okay? So we should breathe in a yogic manner, in a yogic sense, much more away for our lower uh, muscles, the diaphragm, more than the upper uh, muscles, like the thoracic, and this clavicular area. The uh, breathing exercise is going to be like this. You're going to be seated with both your, of your hands in front of your shoulders, okay? You're going to do this with eyes closed, but now you're just watching. And then you're going to move the two hands up and down. When it's going up, in the end, it's going to appear like this. It's out of the screen, but it's going, uh, it's opening and closing. And we are going to do this like 15 to 20 times, and we are going to remain with our eyes closed. When we finish one round, our hands are going to go above, above our knees or thicks. And it's going to be facing upwards. We are going to be still with our eyes closed. You don't need to use pecs when you're doing this. And you go again with a smile in your face, breathing in, breathing out. And you're going to do this again 15, 20 times in a peaceful rhythm. You're going to rest your hands over your uh, knees or thicks, and then again with a smile in the face. One, two, one, two. Breathe in, breathe out from the nose, and then more 15 to 20, and then you finish a complete round of Bastrika practice. This takes like five minutes, and the effect is very impressive on how much energetic you feel. Because a lot of uh, importance usually is given in the West about what you eat and how much energy you have. But uh, actually, our cell uses oxygen and food to produce energy. If it just has food and it doesn't have oxygen, the combustion is not proper. So for you to have energy, it's important that you eat correctly, you digest correctly, you assimilate correctly, you uh, excrete correctly, but also that you have oxygen to fire it up, okay? It's not just the wood that you need to make the fire, you also need the air. And when we expel this um, air that is not proper in the base of your lungs, actually all your lungs are going to breathe more completely, but mainly the uh, carbonic gas that it's um, accumulating in the lower part of your um, lungs are going to be expelled. And each breath that you take, it's going to render you more uh, output, right? If you are just like saying, oh, I don't believe this, I uh, invite you to try. It's not going to harm you. It's going to make you feel better. If you feel that your head is a little bit dizzy or some headache, do it uh, with less strength. 
The basilica is not supposed to be a very strong breathing. It has to be a breathing that makes your lungs expel the residual air that it's closed inside. Okay, so you don't do, you don't need to do like this. This is doing nothing. It's just going to make you feel with some dizziness or a headache. The inspiration is soft. The expiration is more with pressure. These are the tenets for you to do the bastrica correctly and not having any kind of uh, disturbance. If you're pregnant, please don't do this exercise. Only if you're with the proper guidance of a yoga teacher. And if you have a high blood pressure, once again, this is a pranayama that you don't need to do because it probably is going to harm you. Okay, it's going to increase your blood pressure. Please don't do it. <laughs> and if you want to do it regularly, you can do in the morning or you can do when you're feeling tired. But you shouldn't usually do it before bed because before bed probably is going to wake you up. If it does not wake you up, if it just makes you feel a little bit sleepy, then you can do it, okay? But this probably is not going to be the effect, right? The point is that this cleans a lot of toxins that are accumulated in our uh, breathing uh, system, our respiratory system, and it's going to make you feel more alive, more energetic, and more capable of doing your daily um, exercises on your daily Ayurvedic routine, right? So enjoy it, it's very, very good. And uh, if you want more information about your case so that we can discuss your specific condition, you can contact me at namaste.tiago at gmail.com and keep, we can talk more. If you want, you can like, share, comment and etc. this video, right? See you in the next video. Namaste.